Yeah, I'm Alex Lifeson from Rush. I'm sitting here with this fabulous uh, ES1275. This model is based on the model that I got in the six in the 70s, rather, and used for songs like um, Xanadu and uh, Something for Nothing. Uh, anytime I needed a 12 string in any of the other songs, just as an accompaniment, I always used this, this guitar. This is the replica. The great thing about the guitar is it has all these little nicks and scratches and, uh, and, and cracks in the finish, just like the original has. The, my favorite one is right on the corner here. There's a, a crack right here. On the original one, we were playing a gig in out in Long Island, in Nassau Coliseum with Blue Oyster Cult, and I think it was in 1978 or 1979. One of the horns, when the PAs were stacked on the floor, one of the horns vibrated off the PA, fell on the stage and fell back onto a few of my guitars. And I only, only really had a few uh, with me at the time. And this, the original was one of those, and it snapped the corner off the headstock of the 12 string. Of course, we didn't have anything fancy to fix it with, so we just uh, got some epoxy and glued it back on. And I, th I don't even know if we had a clamp. I think we held it in place for that five minute epoxy. But uh, when I saw this on the first prototype, I was blown away by it, that there was that much attention to detail. <laughs> this switch in so that it would split the coil in the pickup, just in the front pickup, the, in the um, neck pickup, in this position only on the 12 string, so that I could clean up the sound uh, a little bit more so I wouldn't get the full humbucker power. So uh, that was one little mod that I did. And I did that myself with uh, soldering iron and, and, uh, and a chainsaw. So <laughs> I just love the way it looks and all the markings on it and the fading of the finish. And, uh, it's, it blows my mind that um, the craftsmanship is at a level where you can, you can create or recreate all of these little uh, aging imperfections. You know, it's, a, it's amazing. I guess it's kind of like ripped jeans and you know, you pay a premium for those things and this is definitely worth it. I, I absolutely love it.